Good evening, guys. Yeah. It's sort of been a all day, and I forgot to turn the camera on. But uh, I have been busy, as uh, you can see. Well, maybe not tell now, but I have had that cabinet out. I have had that bookcase out, and that one out. As you can tell, there's no more power cables running along the front here. I've tucked them down the back, out of the way. And I've done the same with my phone cable that was running around to the telephone over there. Um, so yeah, I've had a bit of a clean out. I've uh, changed a few drawers around. I've got rid of the instruction books. They're in a drawer down there now. Uh, took some another stack of cones down. I've got them ones to go. Oh, and I found out those are um, Swintex cones. I uh, found that out early when I was looking for um, Melba products to try and find a find a um, uh, what's it called? An accessory for a cone which doesn't seem to exist anymore, unfortunately. Um. I've got the wooden computer desk pulled forwards at the minute because I do want to do some cable tidying behind that. Uh, but I have forgot to bring the zip ties up. So that might be a job for tomorrow. Uh, I've still got the socket to hang on the wall, the black one, which I actually had to pull along the wall that way a little bit uh, just to make sure the cable reached all the way around. Uh, yeah, I've been a little bit busy this afternoon. I've, uh, um, past wind is what I've done. Mm -hmm. I've been to the, um, chemist and got my medication. I forgot to pick it up yesterday, which is not really important. And I got a whiff of something perfume when I walked in here, and it suddenly disappeared. You've just thrown up somewhere, because I heard you throwing up. Now, where is it so I don't... Oh, it's just a hairball. I'll pick it up later. Cats and their friggin' hairballs, especially this one. I'm going to feed you in a minute, because I'm going to feed myself in a minute as well. <clears throat> a few things to put away in the shop later. I'll go down and do that later. Uh, right. And though Mum's hand is still playing up, she still wants to do a car boot sale Saturday, so that looks like we will be doing that. Uh, so uh, I've been throwing some bits in a box. Um, I don't know if I've got anything else. I may actually clear in front of that cabinet later and uh, have a dig and a delve in there to see if there's any DVDs or anything I want to get rid of. Because I don't watch them. So I'm not sure the point in keeping them. I'm going to keep a few. I'm going to keep a few, but if there's any I don't really want any more, then I'll get rid of them. Um, there's uh, some bigger problems kicking off back at Mum's, which I'm not going to go into details of. Wind is picking up. So, <sighs> yeah. Things are getting a bit, uh, a bit, um, I can't think of the word. I hope my mug is in shot. Is that better? I don't know. That's why I could benefit with a camera with a flip out screen so I could actually see myself. <laughs> anyway. So, apart from, um, 
and we'll tidy up with some cables, which I've been meaning to do for, I don't know, a year or so. I want to put these cables up. <laughs> and people like what I've uh, said on the video I watched on Facebook. And this guy is uh, on YouTube. He's got his own channel now. And his brother's got a channel. But uh, he's the star of World's Greatest Freak Out. And if you don't know what that is, you can um, YouTube it. And uh, hang on a minute, my batteries are about to die, so I'll get back to this when I've changed them. Okay, got the batteries changed. Uh, where were we? Oh yeah, MC Jugger Nuggets is his uh, YouTube name. His name is up there. I think his brother's channel is uh, Big Brother. And um, a lot of people say their videos are fake. I don't like using that word. I prefer to say acted because you can blatantly see that a lot of the videos they do are acted for YouTube. You know, because that's how they've made their stardom, I suppose. With the world's greatest freak out videos, you know, where um, this guy is supposed to... to uh, go off on one big freak out, you know. He's supposed to be this hardcore gamer that does nothing but game. And some videos I've seen, he's had his um, games ran over by his dad with a lawnmower or a gaming tent that he had set up in the garden was destroyed by his dad on a little sort of, I think it was a, like a dinky little backhoe loader thing. Um, which oddly, despite it being a gaming tent, didn't have any power cords going to it. So I'm guessing that his Xbox in there was running on fairy dust. And in this video, as a cop comes in, you don't see anyone phone the police, because the shop assistant is here and he's always in the shop. But yet this police officer turns up. One, he doesn't have no utility belt. You know, their belt that they hook all their cuffs and baton and sprays and guns. He wasn't carrying an American cop that wasn't carrying a piece. Bit of a giveaway that this has acted, and that was a you know, just a costume uniform. <laughs> but, um, I, anyway, what I actually turned around and said was, acted or not, it's still entertaining, and at least two people so far have agreed. Because it is. Who cares if it's fake? You know, if it's getting them the views, and which it obviously is, otherwise they wouldn't keep doing it. And obviously, I'm guessing they monetize their videos, so they're probably generating some extra cash with it, you know? Who cares? Go for it. I am subscribed to both of them on YouTube. Um, this, well, they're still making out that it's not acted, not fake, but I'm guessing they wouldn't want to admit that through fear of losing subscribers, but like I've just said on that, it's, it is entertaining to watch and quite funny sometimes. Because um, that Jesse dude, if it is, it might even be genuine. But there's just so many hints I see in the videos that indicate acted, or set up, whatever you want to call it, fake, that um, I'm convinced that they are acting. So... Anyway, I was just... Someone replied to that, which is why I, uh... Brought it up. Turn that off. Two more notifications. Anything interesting? Nope. Oh. I don't know, one of my old school... School? One of my old schoolmates was, uh... On a local cycling group.
I've actually been tempted to join the group myself, but I think you've got to pay a membership, which I can't really afford. Otherwise I would. I know they do beginner's rides. Oh, speaking of bikes, as you may know, I've been using the um, Claude Butler I built for the past week or so, something like that. And it has been functioning fine, apart from the rear brake is still weaker than I'd like. I have changed it to a Pro Max um, disc rotor to match the Pro Max caliper and pads I've got in it, which has improved it. You know, it's not dangerously weak, but it's still weaker than I'd like. But um, it has developed an issue with the gears. Sometimes when I click down from first to second, you'll hear that telltale click, 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 where it's not quite in gear properly. And other times I'll go from first to second and it won't do it. And if I click down to like third and fourth, sometimes something is getting stuck because I can't shift back up. It'll feel stiff to go from, say, fourth, third and second and then to go from second to first it will actually get stuck and I'm not sure if that's a fault with the um, gear shifter itself yet or I can't imagine it being the cable because it's a brand spanking new cable and brand spanking new outers I've put on that so there's no way that cable should be snagging so it's either an issue with the, the um, rear Duralia mech or the um, easy fire shifters I bought have developed a fault themselves and are sticking themselves so until I have a chance to invest them again I uh, won't know for sure it's still usable you know it's just a bit annoying more than anything because I like to ride a bike that works fine. The odd little niggle I can live with, but, you know, if the gears are a bit picky, I can live with it. If the brakes aren't super strong, I can live with them, so long as they stop me. I've ridden bikes with weak brakes before and have hit pedestrians because of it, so... That was way back when I was in high school, and ever since then I've always made sure my brakes are adequate for that reason. And actually that brings me to a st story I can tell you as well. Um, I think it was a, must have been a couple of years ago or so now. Uh, I've I had just got on my bike. I had the Gary Fisher then. So I just got on that and I'd left the shed, got onto the road and I was cycling to the end of the road, which is where the camera is now facing, which gets really really narrow and only one vehicle can fit down it well if I get over and a car gets over you can fit both of us down there comfortably it's a bit tight but you can fit a cyclist and a car side by side down there anyway before it was before that I could see a mother I think there's a couple of adults one being the mother and I think at least one kid and this kid had stepped into the road a couple of times while I was watching them. So I decided to slow right down. I slowed pretty much down to walking pace. And uh, as I got close to them, I swerved out. So I was about a few feet further from the pavement. If I and it was just as well I did, because as I got beside them, the um, child stepped off the pavement again. If I hadn't have taken that move and, you know, thought, okay, there's a potential hazard there, I'll take, you know, action to avoid any potential hazard by um, coming away from the footpath an extra foot or so, I would have probably hit the kid. It wouldn't hurt the kid because I'd only been going, like I said, walking pace. 
that uh, I would have hit the child. And that actually reminds me as well, I've read a um, news article today where uh, this cyclist hit a child on a footpath, he fell off, got back up, and according to the mother and the father, he hurled abuse at both the parents and then got on a bike and rode off. Didn't even ask how the child was, if the child was okay, didn't apologise. And uh, when you watch the CCTV footage from the parent, you know, from their own house, that cyclist was actually riding pretty damn fast on the footpath. Now, I'm no saint myself, I don't claim to be. I have ridden on footpaths before. There are some areas in town I prefer to ride on the footpath because it is actually safer for me. Um, but I don't ride at stupid speeds like this cyclist did. And I don't like to do it on narrow footpaths either, for that reason. Um, I, uh, if I do do it, I keep my speed down to at least walking speed, maybe a little bit quicker. Sort of like mobility scooter speed is sort of what I stick to, because at that speed, I know my brakes will stop me dead. If I have to hit them in an emergency, a pedestrian comes out of the door or something, I'll stop dead. Whereas the speed that cyclist was going, he wouldn't have. Even if he hit his brakes, he would not have stopped and still hit that child. He was going far too fast. Um, I have done it before. Again, when I was at high school, I did hit a pedestrian on a footpath. There was like uh, there was um, an alleyway that came off the footpath I was riding along. And because it was all built up with high fences and hedges... You couldn't see down the alleyway to see if anyone was coming. And, you know, being sort of like, I don't know, I must have been 13 at the time, something like that. I'm just pootling along the footpath, probably a bit too fast, this pedestrian steps out of the alleyway and I hit her. She weren't hurt, and I was a bit shaken, but she wasn't too mad. Probably because I was so young, but I, um... Ever since then, I do my best to avoid the footpaths. And like I said, if I do, I'm at walking speed. For that reason. Because you never know, even on the roads, you never know if a pedestrian's going to step out, because I get that quite a lot. You know? Get pedestrians, uh, step out in front of me quite a lot. Uh, although... Today, I think, I saw um, three vehicles, one after the other, give total disregard for the fact that I was riding my bike. I had, there's a junction just over there, behind you, um, and it's one way, on the end of a one-way street. I was coming from the supermarket to turn into said one-way street, and I guarantee I'll always get a car come up behind me and turn into the same junction that I was turning into. In fact, I've had cars do that when I'm not turning into that junction, and I've nearly ploughed straight into the side of them. For some reason, a lot of drivers always assume that the cyclist is going to turn into that junction. Never assume what someone is going to do. I don't particularly want to be embedded in the side of a vehicle, thank you. Um, after that car did that, there was a van coming in the opposite direction that turned into the same junction, but cut the corner, driving in the cycle lane, round a blind corner, just to get ahead of me. Now, on this cycle lane that he drove through, there is a blind corner, because there's a shop right on the corner. So you can't actually see around it from the direction he was coming from anyway. My direction, I can. But his direction, it's blind. Um, and it's not just cyclists that use that. I do see people with mobility scooters use that. Because the footpath along there is pretty narrow, so it's easier. I su well, I suppose people with, mo with uh, mobility scooters think it's easier 
or feel it's easier just to use the cycle lane. So, there could have been someone on a mobility scooter coming round that corner. There could have been a pedestrian who had stepped off to give way to other pedestrians because it's not really wide enough there for two pedestrians to walk on. Because this town is quite old, so it's not really built for modern day traffic or anything like that. Um, or it could have been a cyclist. In fact, I've nearly become someone's hood ornament because they have cut that corner up as I've come round the corner. Thank fuck I do have good brakes on my bike. Otherwise I really would have had... Well, I'd have been sitting on her bonnet, put it that way. I did, I, you know, I'm not saying her because women are bad drivers. It would just happen to be a bad dri uh, woman driver. A bad driver. Well, yeah, she was a bad driver. Um, but no, I think men are, you know, as far as bad drivers go, I think men are just as bad. They do just as stupid things on the road. If anything, I think the men like to show off more. You know, they like to pull the wheel spins. They pre are more likely to speed, unless they're my sister. She's got a heavy foot. Um, you know. I'm, just do various things like that. I, I could be wrong. And I could just be stereotyping us men, but that's how I feel. And I've, had, I've got a friend that used to do things like that as well. Um, not so much now, he has quietened down. But I was actually one of the few people that would actually get back in a car with him. <laughs> just to give you some idea how, um, how should I describe it, erratic his driving could be. And he really did have a heavy foot, but he could handle a car. I've got no idea what my cat is doing. Oh, I've just pressed the button on the camera and nothing happened, so... He's doing something with paint down there, but I'm not sure what. He's nuzzling it, okay. <laughs> Fine. So, yeah. Anyway, going back to that junction over yonder, um, I have had several encounters on there and several close shaves. Um, and I have put on the local council site that something needs to be done, but um, a local councillor replied, replied, sorry, um, stating that he brings it up in meetings, but the highways department don't see it as a problem, you know, because it's all. As far as the highways agency are concerned, it's all marked out on the road properly and it's got all the necessary signposts, etc., so they don't see it as an issue. And the fact no one's been hurt as well means that they don't see it as an issue. But how long is it going to be before someone does get hurt on there? It's only a matter of time. And because I frequently use that junction, it might very well be me. Like I said, I don't want to end up on the front of someone's car if I can help it. And I don't want to spend the day in A&E if I can help it. Mind you, if I bought, took out insurance, at least I could claim. And get the bastards back that way. But, uh... My post was reported. Someone reported that for nudity.
How fucking sad can you be? Recording a vlog and then I get a notification up here that your post has been reported. And when I click post, you see, it says it's all highlighted as a link. It takes me, when it comes up, to this. Where's the fucking nud nudity in that post? There isn't. And if it was referring to that, that's a close-up of my fucking eyeball. This is actually this post is actually talking about what I've just spoken about with the cars I s met on that junction. Although I didn't get to the third one, but uh, that's not important now. But that's what this post is um, referring to. Did someone report it for nudie? What the fuck? That's just completely sad if they've got nothing better to do but to report random posts for nothing. I'm not worried because I know Facebook won't remove it because there's nothing there. <laughs> there's not even a photo there. That is just fucking ridiculous. I do apologise for my swearing, but things like that really do piss me off, you know. I may actually go in and change my privacy settings, I think. I did have it set so it was um, open, so people could, um, you know, message me and whatnot. But uh, I actually think... I'm going to go into settings and put it back, because I'm not putting up a crap like that. So that's set to public. Uh, set that as friends. Right. Close that. Who can contact me? I've just put the one who can see my stuff to friends only. That should be all right. There we go. <laughs> Not well. Not only has that sort of pissed me off, it made me laugh as well that people would do that. Yeah, I've reported posts, but they have actually been nude. Because my view is, if I want to see bleeding porn or naked people, I'll go to a porn site. You know, I've got porn sites bloody bookmarked for when I'm in the mood. If anyone wants another good one, try xvideos.com. But that was just... I don't even know what to say at that. <laughs> that's just... <laughs> it's one of them things that, not, you know, it does tick you off, but it just makes you laugh as well, if that makes sense. <laughs> On the road to success, there are no shortcuts and the lorry is trapped underneath the bridge. <laughs> nope, definitely no shortcuts. I'm not scrolling up because I think you can guess what that rabbit was doing without me actually putting it on camera. <laughs> I want this car. But I can't have the car. <laughs> I think that pisses me off other than having my post report. Yep, what's going on here? Got big yellow gloves on. Not possible on the wall. Yep. <laughs> Possum sitting on the wall. He's just rescued it. Uh, w I N O double -O R. Wildlife in need of rescue and rehabilitation. Ooh. Shared by Possum Posse. That's posse, nothing else. Get your minds out the gutter.
Yeah, da da da. Scroll down. What else is there? Not a lot. Uh, I don't post nudity on my Facebook. Like I said, I'd rather report it. Because Facebook isn't the place for it. You want to look at nude people or bloody porno pornography, go to a porn site. That's the place for it. Not on here. I'm not sure if I can smell someone's cooking or something burning. In this block, it's probably both. Because there's a lady on the floor below us, and bless her, I don't know what she does, but you can often smell burning coming from her flat when she's cooking. And a smoke alarm often goes off. There's some characters in this block, I'll tell you. I'm probably one of those characters, actually. I dread to think what people actually do think when I'm out in the boat. They probably think I'm one weird fucking asshole or something. I'm not sure if I... Let me just go to the front door and see if I can smell something. No, I can't smell nothing, though. <laughs> <sighs> Bloody cats, that way. Just stood on a. I don't know, I just stood on something. Oh! That turned the vlog into something a little bit more interesting than just a boring, chatty vlog. Um. If Facebook does remove that, then, they re then their system really is buggered up. And it will obviously be an automated system. Then again, I've reported posts that Facebook have left. So someone must review them, you know, a real person must review the posts. Right. I don't know if I'll get onto this tonight. It depends if I can be asked to go down and get the zip ties. So I was going to just zip tie like specific cables together like the um, internet cables. Zip them together. The power cables. Zip tie them together. Just to try and at least keep specific cables together. I don't tend to you know take any of this out. Well, I've got nowhere else to put it anyway. I want to get rid of that footstool. Well, I want to keep it, but I want to put it somewhere out of the way. Because um, I don't really use that apart from a stool to stand on when I need to reach the ceiling. And uh, I'll do that when I put the Christmas decks up, so probably once a year. Because <laughs> I use the other computer chair in the bedroom. Hmm. So, I'm now try to, trying to decide if I'm hungry or not. So I went across the same reason I couldn't decide what I wanted to eat. I bought myself a tub of ice cream because I just fancied, fancied something nice creamy. So I was taking nibbles out of that earlier. I don't serve it in a dish, I just eat it straight from the bloody tub. It's only me that's going to eat from it, so I'm only going to get my germs, aren't I? No, that's... ah. That's a smell of paper or wood burning. Someone nearby has probably got a bonfire going. And hopefully it is a bonfire and not my shed door. Otherwise I would be pissed off. Although well, my best bike isn't in there at the minute. <sighs> yeah, when I was looking for something to eat. I got the um, ice cream and I couldn't decide what I wanted. So after walking from one end of the store to the other a couple of times, I settled on some microwave meals that I got. And I got some, um, usually I get beef curry because that's actually quite nice. Even if it is Sainsbury's Basics, which is meant to be Sainsbury's cheapest range. For those that don't know what Sainsbury's is, it's a uh, supermarket here in the UK. And, 
yes, yeah, Sainsbury's Basics is supposed to be their cheapest range. But, this is where it pays to look around and look at other brands, because I've found other brands in Sainsbury's that are actually cheaper than the Basics version. Their Basics range isn't bad. I wouldn't touch their salad cream sauce. I've tried that a couple of times, and it is ill. You might as well drink a bottle of vinegar. Um, but other things, um, the ketchup isn't too bad. Although I had some with some fish cakes I, I ate earlier, and uh, I got hellish heartburn after that. So I think I'll go back to Lidl's ketchup. Down for two minutes. Or for two seconds, I should say. Look, not carry a bag stuck to my packet. You put that over there and I'll pull it off for you. There we go. There's my slip for a repeat prescription. There's my clip aside. Get two trays in there. There's my antidepressants, which do work, despite what some people believe. They don't work. They're just sugar pills. Well, they do bloody work. Thank you. I know for a fact they work. If they didn't work, I'd be a lot more short-tempered than I am now. Well, put it this way, I wouldn't have a bedroom door if they didn't work. That would just be splintered wood. Uh, hmm. Uh, that's about it for that. Oh, for good minute's sake. I'm yawning already. I'm not even tired. I've been sleeping really well since I uh, changed the mattress. Really well. It used to be where I'd sleep for uh, an hour, maybe two hours before I'd wake up and, and I'd go to bed or go to sleep again and for another couple of hours and then I'd wake up and not now. Now I've got this better mattress. And I don't think the camera's going to pick it up, but the pink is um, showing through that bitch. <laughs> I don't give a rat's ass about the colour. It's doing a job. That's all I care about. Um, yeah, but I've been sleeping for at least four hours straight now. I've even done a couple of nights where I've done six hours straight. Freaking hairball down there as well, I've got to pick up. Where was that other one? Or was that the one? No, I think that's the one. Yeah, it is the one I've got to pick up. Duh. There is another one in here. Just down by that monitor that he threw up the other day, and I keep forgetting about it. Mind you, it'll be that dry now, I could pick it up with my hands, so... And I'll just va or I could even vacuum it up, actually, I've got the vacuum cleaner on it. Right. I've actually asked on Facebook if anyone's got a plank of wood that I can use. I need it to be at least five inch wide. Half an inch thick. Maybe, and I um, What's the width of them two window panes, do you reckon? About four foot, maybe a bit longer. I did ask for one at least six foot long, something like that. So basically a longer plank of the shelf, really. That's what I want to put those on. And I can make up my decorative light and perhaps hang it somewhere. I don't know where. I'll find somewhere to hang it. I've got to work out what size fuse to put in the plug. Uh, 10 bulbs. Well, I'm planning to get all 10 on there, but I'm not sure I will. Because of the uh, length. Depends what length of plank I can get. If I get one the full width of this room, which would be a bit too long for practical use in the flat, That might even be closer to six foot, you know, that gap. 
So I reckon if I space them out evenly, I might get eight of those lamp holders on it. We'll see. But I think something like maybe a five amp fuse will cover it. Should only be a seven amp fuse in the plug tops. I think a 13 amp would be too much. You don't want to go too high because then if a fault does develop, it won't go pop. So. I've got to. Uh, well, as you can tell, I've got that all planned out. I've got. I don't remember where I've put them. Some sticky back cl um, clip things, which I'll use those to hold the cable down. I need some flat flex cable, which I should have some kicking about here, or I can get hold of some easily. Uh, and a long cable, which I can also get for the power. They're all plastic lamp holders, so I don't need to earth it. I'm not on a wooden plank, so I'm not a metal sheet of metal, so I don't need to earth anything. So two core flat flex cable will do the job. What's this? Battery cover for something. may need to clean some of these contacts up. Gone a bit green. As long as I clean the tops off so there's no shorts or overheating or anything. Oh, pardon me. I need to get some coloured blubs. I don't know why I just like calling them blubs. Let's uh, have a look. Let's have a look at Festoon lighting. I think that's what they call them. Yeah, there we go. Look like half the bulbs are blown in that stream, eh? See, there's another one. Not quite what I'm looking for, actually. That one might be. Is there 25 watt bulbs? Hey, I said it right, bulbs. Well, there's another one. No weird ones. Some for construction sites there. Ah! Hmm. Incandescent bulbs would be better, but if I'd be happy putting LEDs in if that's all I could get hold of. Some there minus the um oh they're work lights. I don't want work lights. What do I get? Let's put it down again for a minute. What will I get if I put in a coloured bulb? Spot bulbs. Uh, 15 watt pygmies, SES, which just stands for small Edison screw. Ah, you can get a pack of four for 5.59. Wow, they had 25 watt. What's the bulbs I'm looking for? Could put golf balls in. They're cheaper. <laughs> Two, five, or ten, twenty-five watt. Ah, that would be the price then. Why the price is ranging like that. Well, there are 80 coloured bulbs. They're too big for the spots up there. See, this is a problem I had last year, which is why I bought those ones at the car boot. Because I wanted bulbs like that to put in there, just to do something a bit different at Christmas. But... Uh, all I kept finding on here were loads of these R80s. Well, that, they take R64s. <laughs> Look at that. Coloured energy savers. How many do you get in a... doesn't say if that's 5.95 each or... for like a set of the coloured bulbs like that. I don't know. It's 
some more um the other bulbs, 99p to 34 pounds. That's because you can get one, two, five, ten, or twenty. Well, at least I know I can come on eBay and get them. There they are again. Twelve for nine pound fifty-eight. See why I grabbed the coloured bulbs when I found them now, can't you? Because <laughs> they were cheaper. Ooh, I never knew you'd get coloured candle bulbs. I do now. There's one of those LED bulbs with the remote control. Wireless dimmable bulb. Yeah, St. Julian Islet. 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 Um, review those bulbs. Don't want one. Not safe enough for me. Yeah. Ooh, halogen, coloured halogens. The GU tens. GU tens are the main voltage ones. Mini Sun branded four watt red coloured LED golf ball. Four watt would probably equate to about twenty five watt. Crompton. What are those ones? Oh, there are fifties. They would probably fit. What are they? Are they BC? No, the SES. Ah, no, the next one's down. And what that is. Sorry, that is that's now fifty. I think. Let's have a look on the pack. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yep, they are our fifties. Well, I never knew they did them that small. Trying to find them in between, the bloody R sixty fours is what are those ones? Oh, R64, there we go. <laughs> uh, two and six packs. Five ninety nine for two. I'm so glad I paid 50p each, or fiver for my ten. Definitely got the buggers cheaper. More BC coloured bulbs. Oh, Mum's messaged me. Hang on, I just replied to Mum. Oh, yeah, I was going to check my emails. My emails! Oh, my telephone bill has just been sent. Micros Visa, no, you can piss off. You can piss off. Bloody spam! Fuck off. Delete. Delete. Some bitch. There we go.
cool man, watch your language on your post. I'll just put some of my language. <laughs> I was pissed off. <laughs> Who doesn't swear when they're pissed off? My wall, if people don't want to see the language, I don't have to bloody be on my friend's list, do they? <sighs> Sorry, I've got an itchy back. So I'm using the door frame as a back scratch. I've actually got a back scratch here ticking around here somewhere. Still got that DVD to watch. I sort of bought it, bought it home, sat it on there, and that's where it sat for the last month. <laughs> You can tell I really pay attention to DVDs. Um, Ermody, 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 um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get some dinner. I'm gonna have a drink. Just a microwave, please. Oh, down here. <laughs> Whoops. Nearly tipped that cup everywhere. That would have been a nightmare to clear up. Tangled up in like three different cables. Thing. Right, that's powered on and ready. Flashing display gets on my nerves. Right, so I'm gonna shut the camera down. Um, I'm not gonna end the video yet. No, actually, I will end the video, because if I think of anything else, I'll just do another one. So, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And uh, until the next video, see you again soon.